Hello there, my friends, and welcome back. We are doing the review of Thanos. Now, I'm not sure which one is pick is a pick to watch first, and which ones you pick to watch second. I have no idea because obviously I'm making this the same day as I made the first video. So, if this was the one you picked first, great. This is the one you're getting now. If this is the one you picked second, well then, hopefully it's going up second. But if not, we are going to be doing this review of Avengers Endgame. Thanos. This is not the battle damage version. I would have liked to have gotten the battle damage version, like I said in the other video, but he's just a lot more expensive than this guy is. You know, this guy was uh, nowhere near the same price. I'm not going to take you around the box because have a look at the previous video. I could quickly show you around the box for that one. So let's just get on with this actual review itself and show you what you get and what it looks like. You know, the front of the box looks ideal. Just looks mint, you know what I mean? I'm really happy with that. And of course, it's a slip off cover, so you can see well how well you'll be able to see with the light bouncing off of it. it is going to be debatable, but he's there and he looks kind of cool. So I'm going to get out the stuff now, lay it out in the light box, and let you see what you get with this guy. So here we go for the accessories, guys. And what you've got, obviously, is your base plate, which is for obvious reasons quite a big one you know he's a big character yeah as in yeah, avengers endgame quite a sort of an unspectacular style looking thing but hey you know it is what it is does have thanos written on the front from avengers endgame there's nothing really much else to it apart from the way it's got this thing to attach to it so you, you get more thingy on the back more leverage on the back to help hold it up because of the character being such a heavy character you know, but you know me, I tend not to and I don't like having to use these if I can help it so I will be seeing if he'll stand on his own which hopefully he will be just in case it over time will his um, ankles start to give way because of him being such a hefty and style character you know, that, that's one of the things that always worries me and get out of the hands you have your open style hands you know what I mean lovely enough things to these paint apps are good enough for what they are massive style hands they look cool you have the gripping hands looks like he's going to be holding on to somebody choking them out type thing picking them up and hanging them around again paint applications are fine you get two of those ones and then you get obviously the one for holding on to his um what we grow is basically like a sword double sword and you got both of those so you could have it in either one of his hands that you wish to have it in again looks cool then you have two of the gauntlet parts you have this one which has all the movable fingers and thumb it does have joints in there it can be twisted and turned obviously this bit doesn't move but the thumb inside here does have movement there has movement on that joint there you can get it to sort of be in a snap motion there but if you remember from the movies it wasn't actually those two fingers that were snapping and it still can barely stay together it was this finger and thumb so it's a bit of a shame that you can't get that finger and thumb on the See, it's not quite going to work because that can't bring that one far enough forward and you can't get enough, there's no sort of twist on those ones to get them around enough, even though you've got a bit of twist on that one, it's just not going to work. But you could sort of cheat a little bit if you wanted to and do something similar to that, though it, it doesn't sort of quite a new bit. Yeah, and you know, it's nice enough looking. It is. I do believe that it's possibly going to light up though. Again, with me, you know, I don't put any of the lighter features in, and it didn't. Oh, it does come with batteries. I tell a lie. I've got the batteries in there. I just didn't see them because I saw a bloody smile. And so it does come with batteries. So yes, it will probably light up. Just enough that that one will. I don't know where the batteries actually. Go on, you probably have to take this thingy off. I'll take that will come out of there to be able to put that one on. Just I don't quite fancy doing that myself, it might really 
So I think that is it. So there's where your batteries will go into. Unscrew it. Your batteries in there. Your on-off switches there as well. So I'll take that will work on both of the hands. This one is literally clenched fist. Doesn't open. But again, it looks cool enough. There's no sort of battle damage in this to it, or there's no sort of too much in the way of paint apps, though you do get a little bit around the back end of here where it's sort of getting slightly dirty. Yeah, uh, it would have been nice to see a little bit more sort of looks like he's been wearing it a while because obviously there is all the infinity stones in there, which means he would have been wearing it for quite a while because he had it on the whole time. I think he just not like he took it off and put it on only when he wanted to put the things in. He pretty much had it on sort of most of the time. So it is a case of like, you know, it to me it should have been sort of weathered slightly more. But eh, that's what you're getting and it looks cool. This thing sort of is a bit more beaten up and that sort of weather beaten. You obviously would have been a Thing like this it doesn't have any blood or anything on it which is a bit of a, a shame because I think that's something with that it probably could have done with you know, if he's been sort of fighting with people and that it does have a bit of sharpness to it so you have to be careful you know the tops are here and sort of some of these can be a little bit sharpish I think does that I don't know if that's supposed to come apart as I haven't read the instructions but it would have been nice for it to come apart to be able to make it fit in his hand a lot easier. You know, I'll have to have a quick flick in the instructions and find out whether it does or not. But the rest of it, you know, it looks kind of freaking cool, you know, for that. You know, the sort of the actually sort of design and the look on the blade. Yeah, you know, it is sort of it's really nicely done from both sides of it. You know, sort of this sort of Swirling thing you doing that, so that's good. I like that. This has sort of the weather into it, which is strange that the gauntlet doesn't have that much. His blade doesn't have loads in the way of sort of weathering by the looks of it, yet his helmet does have. You know, his helmet looks like he's been through a bit of a battle with it on the uh, looks cool. If any of it's supposed to just thing off, it's just supposed to fit over his head, possibly just fit straight over his head by the looks of that. It may come apart a little bit, I'm not sure. Again, I haven't sort of read the instructions, but it's literally got out of the box, unboxed it, and I'm looking at things as a normal person would. You know, most people don't get the instructions, you can just have a look at the instructions and to laugh the I'm exactly the freaking same guys. And you've got your two head sculpts. This one. Really cool. Yeah, it's just lovely the way it's been done. The Grimmickson face or the, the angry face, the angry eyes. Yeah. I'm not sure how I'll have them displayed, possibly like that, but it really is. it depends on how it looks when I put it next to Ebony Moor. Because I do have Ebony Moor, as you possibly have seen. If you haven't, then go back and check out that video. I do have one on. Him and I do have some of the other characters from is it the Night's Watch or whatever they're called. I'm not sure what they're called, but I do have the other characters on order. So when they come out, they will come. And I will be able to do reviews on them. And it looks good. And of course, the last Scott is that one there. And again, it looks kind of cool. Looks sort of more stern and just almost at peace with yourself. Maybe surveying things, making up his mind what to do. Uh, I do sort of. I'm thinking more along the lines of being this one that I might use, just because it looks like he's battling, fighting, and getting ready to kick some ass. You know, they're both really nice. Sculpts both look really cool. And there we go, guys, that's the accessories you get with this guy. Now it's time to get out Thanos himself 
I don't know how the hell I'm going to review him because he's such a big and hefty guy. I don't know how I'm going to do this one, but that's for me to work out, not for you. You're good. So I'm just here to see it being done and get my opinion on it <laughs> for what it's worth. So as you can see guys for how far out I've had to pan this thing to be able to get him sort of fully in <laughs> He's a big guy. He's a chunky guy yeah, um, I haven't got I haven't brought any other figures in from the man cave so I can't exactly sort of size him up next to them uh, At this precise moment in time I might have to admit we can get one But at the minute you can just see you know just by looking at that he's an imposing looking character He's a big hefty chunk of a guy You know what I mean? And, and, I don't know how well he's going to pose, that's probably one of the next things to look at, is like, his articulation wise and what have you, but God damn, he's an imposing character, and like, looking around like this, I think to myself, yeah, he's a cool looking dude as well, you know, yeah, he's an absolute monster of a thing, so let's get him in closer and start having a look at some of the details that's on this guy, and start off, yeah, with sort of the, you can see the battle damage, even though it's not the battle damage version, you can still see that already he's sort of got some battle damage on him. You know, the sort of colouring and discolouring on some of this stuff. Yeah, it is just absolutely tremendous. So much detail in there. Yeah, all these uh, details. And across here. Yeah. Colours, the disfigurations, the Things to it all, this just looks so damn good. And you've got them on his shoulders, on his arms, down here on these gauntlets. It just looks absolutely amazing. Same on the legs. And you're gonna have the slight moving bits on them. You do have toe articulation to help out with the foot articulation. You do get movement, so this is obviously part of the articulation of the guys as well. So you do get some motion that way on. You pull the boot down to I think so that's pretty cool. Knee rise, you can see it's a strong ratchets and you can see there where it's starting to sort of nip slightly at that and you're not quite getting anywhere near a 90 degree bend on it yeah but and you're also sort of getting that catch in there as i'm trying to sort of straighten it fully back out so you're gonna to have to be careful with the likes of that you're possibly gonna have to move it around to try and get that back inside of there to get it fully straightened out yeah so that's one thing to be careful of is this one here going over the top and stopping you from getting it fully straightened out you're gonna have to make sure you push that back in first this bit back in in order to get that fully straightened back out you do have articulation that part of the hip ratchet it out to about there just enough to get this on with a little bit. Ratchets going forward. Yeah, that's, so that's not too bad. It would be nice for it to get it a bit higher. But then if you twist it out, you are getting it a couple of notches higher. So that's not too bad. You know what I mean? That's, that's sort of quite. I mean, not like you have him posed like that, but it, he could have him like that as if he's kicking somebody. Yeah. So uh, it will work. Do we get any motion back over? I mean, we get a little bit of motion back over, not a huge amount of deal, but enough to give it like a walking pose if that's what you wanted to do. So that's okay. You do have some tilt there. Do we have any crunch? Yes, we have a ratcheted crunch. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty damn good ratcheted crunch going on that way. I'm quite surprised at how much of this, but that's basically coming from like, the hips, I believe, by the looks of it. Not so much the actual 
wasteland. There is a bit in the waste thing, but you're getting a lot of it. So you're getting like two in the waste. The rest of it comes from the actual hip line. Yeah, but you do. I mean, you know what I mean? That's getting some pretty damn good twist on a ratchet. And yeah, how much that is ratcheting. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. What you're getting good ratcheted, ratcheted arms up to about there. So not quite at the 90 degree angle, which is again is to do a lot of times with this catching. Yeah. It can be moved slightly when well, you can actually remove it fully, but you're still not going to get any sort of any more ratcheted up, so it's like not particularly worth taking off for that side of it because it's not going to get any further up going forward. Ooh, well, that. You're seeing that there's just a slight kink in the actual arm before I've even bent it, you know, because it doesn't, doesn't exactly fully sort of straighten out. Yeah, but it does go forward, about there, back, there you go. Bend at the elbow is ratcheted but doesn't go very far due to the actual sort of thing on the bicep there. Yeah, what you do, you don't get any really swivel on the, the bicep. And is a little bit of a butterfly joint there, but not enough to to hear too much like you were there. Yeah. Oh, and we've just ripped his hand clean off, and his gauntlets dropped off. Pretty cool. So you can see that I'm doing this shit, so that he's doing half day in order to make sure. So you can get it up to that, and seriously try and slip his gauntlet back on, and be careful because eventually you will make these sort of weaker and they won't go on quite as good there you go it's on so, uh, that's what you're getting motion wise head scope wise not a great deal looking down a little bit of looking up a little bit of side to side and obviously spinning it's gonna spin completely you know he will stand at the moment on his own which is good for me because that's how i like the d-main i don't like to have to have them on the stands i never have i just think it detracts from what the figure looks like you know i will use stands when i have to but when i don't have to then no let's have a look at this oh this is gonna reach you over here and get his helmet Again, I haven't even looked at the instructions, but by looking at the helmet itself, I don't think it's meant to come apart by the looks of it. So let's just have a look and see if it just does for fit. And yeah, there you go. And see, it just fits over his head like so. So it will fit on the head straight away without actually having to take anything apart, which is quite nice. It does on the inside have some foam pieces. Whether I'll have him with his helmet on, uh, I'm just not sure because obviously it's one thing I don't want to have to keep slipping that on and off and worry about the fact that whether it's going to sort of end up leaving marks on his face or what have you. Um, but it is nice to know that it's an easy fit. I do worry, obviously, about the sword side of things, how easy that's going to be to get into his hand. But obviously, you do that before you even sort of pose him up I suppose and before you even put his hand into his uh, onto the arm itself you're better off putting a sort of sword thing into there first so but there you go guys that's what he looks like that's the articulation you get on him and I'm happy to have him now like you say it would have been nice to get the battle damage version but that's just a little bit too far out of what I'm willing to pay for the character itself yeah, so, but I am glad that I have a Thanos in my collection, and I am glad to have this one. It's just a case of posing them up and see where I can pose them, because I don't have 
a lot of space for something that's as big as this character to actually fit. Um, whether he'll fit into a detail or not, I'm not 100% certain yet. That's what I'm going to have to look at. But he is going to go with Ebony Moore and the Hella figure for the time being. But there he is, guys. That's what he looks like. He looks kind of freaking cool, doesn't he? Okay, guys, here you can see. I don't his head mask on. He's got a mad titan face and his sword in hand. Looks kind of cool. I am going to give you a a slight thingy warning about something though that's happened with my, mine as I was thinking I did end up getting instructions out to have a look and um, here is those instructions I was looking at because I thought to myself the hand has to be able to come off you know what I mean because he's got obviously this part of the gauntlet which obviously needs to be thinking since he got like the, literally the other hand came like that without the sort of back end of the gauntlet on so I knew the fact it would have to come off and we have obviously looking at the instructions I can see how it was supposed to come off so there you go yet with mine it literally snapped that part off with this you know, so that was literally still attached to that like that yeah so mine's literally snapped off like that from that part when I tried to pull it out right so to get it back in I don't even know which way it's freaking guns back in now I don't know if it's that way or what but I need to try and figure out now which way to get it back on right but every time I pull it off that's what's going to happen and I'm going to have to end up pulling that off which again is just constantly having to really maneuver it so mine's literally snapped out by the looks of it as it's completely snapped or is that supposed to be a come out like that i don't honestly know that's just a word of warning of you guys you know that's what can happen with them i mean this is just like a soft rubber bit there so i don't know if it's supposed to thingy because obviously that's already black inside of there um but that's just a word of warning for these guys you know if you're wanting to put the hands on that that potentially could happen to use as well okay so just be careful you can see i think by the looks of that yep that goes that way because you've got two little notches just here you've got two little notches there you've got a single notch there a single notch there so i think that is supposed to go in that way it's supposed to stay in there i don't think it was supposed to have snapped out and just me obviously being so fucking heavy handed and being bloody being a bit of a big bugger I managed to snap it out but there you go it guns back inside it does fit in but that's chance of that is going to keep coming out every time if I try and pull that back off of there yeah but they do oh, it's supposed to come off there's as you can see and I showed you before obviously it has the light up again feature to it so but I'm, I don't bother with light up features I just think the batteries are only too quick to 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 bother with the light up features on them you know you'd have to it says something we've taken off the arm in order to you basically got to basically take out the arm it's supposedly it's supposed to come apart further up up inside here somewhere so I don't know bloody where because it certainly wouldn't go into the wrist that would be stupid because then it would make it far too bloody long if you took that wrist off and you've got this bit fitting onto the end of your wrist you know you'd take with his hand would be then twice as friggin long as it would need to be so it must come off somewhere inside of here in order to switch that out but i just i don't know whether i even fancy doing that because it's like <laughs> now the way it'll be for me i'll probably fuck it up completely and it'll be completely knackered but Let's have a look. This is what I'm here for, I suppose, is to see if you use any damage. So I'm going to do this off camera, guys, just in case, because I don't know how easy it's going to be to do. But I will show you the finished fucking product when I'm done. And there you go, guys. You can see I have one to get on. Yeah, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, though I do worry that if you keep on pulling that joint out of there, that that will become slacker and not hold up as well over a period of time. So I wouldn't 
advised to keep digging that all the time and this was a lot easier than I thought it would be as well to snap out the sort of this part of the arm yeah it, that was a bit easier than I thought it was going to be I was a bit concerned about doing that but I managed to do it I managed to think it's just a kiss and I was like how do I want to pose him how do I want to have him to or I have him with a gauntlet on to or I want to have him with his, his hand on and and fighting somebody that way, I just it's how now these are always the tough parts that they leave you with when they give you so many different things you can work with. You know, it's like literally, how do you pose them up? How do you want to have them? Which style do you want them in? What do you want them looking like? How do you want them to be? Who do you want them to interact with? These are all the things that sort of become that sort of harder decision to make. Do you have them with his helmet on? Do you have them with his helmet off? Do you have them holding his helmet? You know, do you have him sitting on a thingy with his helmet in his hand and his sword by his side? Uh, you know, these are all things that you've got you to look at, you've got to consider. So anyone's got any thingies they'd like to put in the comments below about how they fancy doing it, or you could go to my Instagram, which will be linked below, and maybe send us a sort of pictures there to show me how you've got yours set up to give us some sort of ideas, then you're quite welcome, guys, and I would appreciate it, you know, I really would, because I do look at these things at the... I am sort of involved with a lot of the Instagram pages and I do sort of follow them. I'm also on a lot of the Facebook groups that's out there. So, you know, you will find us on there on the 13s page. So, yeah, you can sort of link us pictures there and show us how you've got yours set up. And so it gives us maybe some idea of how it might be best to do. But there you go, guys. There he is. I'm chuffed to have him. He looks cool. Though it's a case of how now do I pose this little bugger? How do I have him done? Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. You know, I've enjoyed doing it. So until next time guys, this is the Bearded Nerdy Wolf, and I am out of here. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? no no no. I, I didn't I wasn't why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean <laughs>